first of all, I think she's so beautiful that I just, I get very intimidated by her beauty. I don't know, it's something about her that she's just like oozing movie star. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Sashti Flo and this is Flossom Talk, where I talk about my experiences as a entertainment reporter. I have about 450 uh, interviews here on my channel, so I'm sure you're gonna find some of your favorite celebrities here and maybe some you don't like that much. Uh, I'm trying to be as honest as I can here and um, last week or this early this week actually I posted a video uh, with some celebrities that I didn't have such great experiences with and one of them was actually Anthony Hopkins. So I just wanted to make something clear. Um, someone commented on that video saying that Anthony Hopkins is on the spectrum and I did not know that. So thank you for pointing that out to me. That puts things in a very different perspective I think. So if you didn't watch that video, what actually happened was that I was invited to interview him for a movie called Noah. And after waiting several hours for my spot, uh, I was told that he had left the hotel because he thought the journalist's questions were so stupid and he was annoyed about it. Um, anyways, I, I think it explains a lot now that I know that he's on the spectrum because, you know, they had different experiences of things than we have when we are not on the spectrum. So I apologize uh, if that offended anyone. And I, um, I'm so glad that I know that now. And of course, I would always love to interview him. I think he's so fascinating and a very intelligent guy. And uh, I hope I get to meet him someday. Um, it wasn't supposed to be that day, obviously. <laughs> but thank you for um, bringing that to light. Um, the one who wrote that comment to me, I really appreciate that. And I appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting. You guys are sharing so many stories you had with celebrities, people you really liked, people you didn't like, and also, you know, people that I didn't have great experiences with that you had great experiences with. Uh, I, I was talking about Sarah Jessica Parker in one of my episodes that I was disappointed when I met her because I thought she was going to be uh, kind of a different person. And then she was, she was very, she had low energy and she wasn't friendly to me. Um, it wasn't a great experience at all. I didn't say that she was rude or anything. I just said that, you know, I wish uh, she would have been nicer. Uh, some people called me out on that saying like, oh, just because she had a bad day doesn't mean anything. And that is very true. Uh, everyone has bad days. When I have bad days, I'm trying to be nice to everyone that I meet though. And that's the thing. And that was my point of this whole like new series that I'm, I'm making, you know, it's not really hard to be nice. It's much easier to be nice than to be rude or impolite with people. That's what I find. Um, I actually, I asked one of the nicest people in showbiz that I've met and I interviewed him many, many times is Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. He's so professional and there's a reason why he's so successful because he's nice to everyone. And no matter how tired he is, he's just putting on a smile, being nice. So I asked him in one of my interviews with him, how he, you know, how he can be so nice all the time. And this is what he said. You learn from it. Or just, yes, I put in the work and, and I learn from it, yes, yes. So did you have like a, a motto in life that you've lived by, something that you, someone taught you earlier that you always like kind of stuck with? Yeah, one of the things that always stuck with me that I keep coming back to is, um, I heard when I was 15 years old, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And yeah, it really stuck with me because at 15, we were, I was evicted at 14 out of our apartment. So we're that. And, and now even more so it's important. Just, you know, being nice is, is the, literally the easiest part of my job. So as you can see, uh, the rock thing is super easy to be nice. It's the nicest, the easiest part of this job. And I think we should all adopt that kind of attitude. Um, I like, like I said, I've met him so many times and he's always the most energetic, amazing, even though he's tired and I understand people are tired sometimes and they don't want to like get all this energy out there, but he's, he, his presence is just a very few people that you meet, like you get into that room and you just get filled with energy. It's like he's lifting the roof up and no matter what you ask him, he will always answer in a very sincere way. Um, I ended up once, I, a friend of mine gave me these bracelets that he was making and he was like, oh, could you give one to The Rock? And I said, sure, I can do it after the interview. And you know, I was expecting, 
you know, celebrities get gifts all the time. So I was like, okay, I'll just give him this bracelet. And like, here you go, he's from my friend. And um, he got super excited, which was so sweet. He was so nice. And he was just like asking me to put it on. I'm, I'm actually going to show you what happened. It's That's really nice. great. Yeah. I have a little gift for you. It's since you're the ultimate awesome. alpha male. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so you can, much. You can take it apart and you can make it into like a little weapon. So you can, uh, yeah, you can actually, yeah, you can, oh. you can tow a car by it because it's made out of this parachute wow, thing. Wow, thank you so much. Look at that. Well, does it oh, fit? it fits. It does. Can you put it on for me? Yes, of course. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hold on a second. We got a gift. Hold Maybe it's the other way. Ooh, hold, on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so that was very sweet. And I actually saw him posting a picture later that day when he, I think he was with um, Anderson Cooper or something, and he was wearing the bracelet. So that was very flattering. It was very sweet. I think I got a few comments about... Um, <laughs> from Jason Statham from the last video that I posted when I was cut off when I asked if he was excited about turning 50 and someone said, that's too personal. Um, first of all, I think it's quite interesting that people are posting things on my channel that things are too personal when they first of all clicked on the video that they knew was gonna be a bit personal. So that just proves that you are interested in that uh, and you're interested in the celebrities and that's why they're famous and celebrities and get paid so much money, it's because they have to deal with the attention that comes with it. Um, interestingly, also with the Elton John interview that I posted when I was cut off in the middle of the interview and he was just sitting there and like, didn't answer the question. And I had to find a new question about the movie, which was an animated film. He wasn't really in the film. He made a few songs. Um, I mean, some pointed out, some people pointed out that this was, it wasn't actually Elton John that was being rude. He was just, there was a, his handler who was being kind of rude, which is true. But the thing is, as a celebrity, you can, you can do whatever you want. He could have said, you know, oh, I'll answer that question. It's, it was an interesting question. And I really wanted the answer to that question. If you didn't watch the video, I asked him, you know, how he, when he. So what is it like for you when you're on a stage, you must get so much adrenaline in your body and like, get a rush and then mm. you go off stage how do you kind of like balance off and, and Seth, get kind of talk about the movie please okay only yeah. the, okay but my point is that you can answer the questions like angelina julie did with me she i have to say i she was such an amazing surprise to me because i was really scared the first time i met her because first of all i think she's so beautiful that i just i get very intimidated by her beauty and she has this stoicness about her and this I don't know it's something about her that she's just like oozing movie star and I remember sitting down with her this was in Cancun in Mexico we were doing a press junket for her movie Salt and I was asking her if how her kids reacted because they were on set with her how they reacted when they saw their mom and um, dressed as a man if they recognized her because her kids were really small then and this person on the in the in the room was like oh we're not talking about that and angelina was like why are we not talking about that? i can talk about that of course and then she just like gave me a really long answer a sweet answer and how sweet the kids were on set and it was an amazing story and i was like this is how you do it and the other times i've met her she's just been like this i don't know she's one of those big, big movie stars that are just always professional and always nice to everyone. Um, she's also very sincere and you know, when you sit down with her, you get her attention and she's listening to your questions. She's trying her best to give you a really good answer. And she's kind of like, I feel she's a little bit fragile, but then at the same time, she has this like superpower. It's hard to explain. I'll show you a little bit, a little clip of the other interview I did with her. I, unfortunately, I don't have the interview that I did with her when she interrupted someone and said she wanted to answer it. So I can't show you that, but I'll show you another interview I did with her, a piece of that interview to just explain to you how sweet and nice and professional she is. So he also was, he had a little rebellious past. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes that makes people even stronger and give them more character when mm -hmm. you get older. Do you agree with that? Oh, completely. 
completely. You know, I think it's that thing, what I love about Louis' story, and I think a lot of people will relate to it, especially young people, I hope, is there's that fire in all of us, and so often when you're young or at different times in your life, you think that there's something wrong with that. It's a bad thing, because it's misdirected, and you don't know if you're a good person, and you don't know what you're contributing, and you feel like, um, and, and that it is that fight, and that fire, and that little bit of trouble, that if directed in the right way, it can be f a force for good, and brave, and, and wonderful. And, um, and I think that's a, and I, I say that to my kids when, if they get in trouble because they've done something and they feel like they did something wrong and bad, that, that there is a right and a wrong, but it's also not to feel like they're bad. The thing is with Angelina Jolie, which makes her different from most Hollywood stars, is that she doesn't even have a publicist. Um, she's doing all that herself. She doesn't have anyone that tells her what to do and not what to do. So I think also that gives her this authenticity. Um, and this, I don't know. Now I'm not gonna get into anything with Brad Pitt because I don't know about anything about their marriage. I've seen them together, I've met their kids, but I don't want to get um, involved in that. Like, I think it's so sad that they've been fighting for so many years. And I hope that they sell that divorce soon because I feel like I like both of them. Anyways, my point is that a lot of the biggest movie stars are the nicest people. And I think the reason is because they've always been nice to people, they got all the way to the top. And that's kind of surprised me in the beginning because I thought that the bigger the movie star, the more you know difficult they would be to deal with, but that is not true at all. I mean, some of the nicest, nicest people, like you saw my Jane Fonda interview that I posted in my latest video, um, Michael Douglas, so, so nice, always super nice. Leonardo DiCaprio, always nice. Not the best interview because he's very like private and he's kind of a little robotic in interviews, but always super professional, super nice. Meryl Streep, always really nice. George Clooney, very nice. I mean, Nicole Kidman, always the sweetest. So all of these like that have been A-listers for a really long time are the most amazing people. I think for the, the examples I've shown you earlier with people that hasn't been that nice, I find that, you know, if you have cameras on you and you can't be nice, I don't know what you're gonna be like if you don't have cameras on you. So I think bottom line here is that it's so easy to be nice. And I think everyone should just make a tiny little bit of extra effort to be nice and polite to people because the world will be a much better place. Anyways, I wanted to end this video with some of my favorite moments that I've had because I wanted to be a bit more positive and it's the weekend. So here are some of my funniest moments that I had with celebrities. And please subscribe before I forget to say that and hit that notification button if you haven't, and uh, I'll see you at the next one. Ciao. Yeah, but still you have a lot of energy to do this kind of thing. Smoke enough marijuana, you'll, you'll get it. You'll get that okay. Really. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you leave, can you sneak me a drink? <laughs> what do you prefer? <laughs> I guess everything goes through a kind of a filter here. It's like a kidney. Hollywood's like a kidney. <laughs> we don't get offered it much in our mainstream culture in the nebulous kidney that is Hollywood. <laughs> we don't get offered. Well. We don't get offered nebulous much. <laughs> we don't get offered much soul and spirit. Do you mind if I take a headshot of you to go along with it? No, of course not. Thank That's you. It's very funny. Thank you. But now you're gonna sit, you're gonna put that picture next to the person that. I said it was my least favorite person <laughs> to interview. <laughs> oh no, don't worry, it won't go anywhere beyond my, it won't go anywhere beyond my school paper. Okay, everyone asked you the same you question. Know, you know, uh, we had a funny answer before. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I no, tried not to I'm not gonna repeat it, I'm not gonna repeat it. The good restaurants, you know. <laughs> I mean, if I'm with he him, owns some of them. <laughs> So you get a table at his yeah, restaurant yeah, really easy. Yeah. I'm not trying to brag. When I, my thighs are impressive. I see that actually. Well, thank you. Yes, but his thighs are pretty impressive too. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, Boom! Yeah, Check this is out. What are those? No, what no. are those? Your thighs look like hot dog weenies. So if I fancied a bloke, then I had to, you know, because I'm short and redhead, be funny. 
so you know we got laid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got laid three times. <laughs> it was a family reunion. But... <laughs> I want to go to your dinner parties, you guys. <laughs> oh, we would never go to dinner together.